Or spiking him. Spiking him. Uh, 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 going for those uh, air slash yeah. edge guards. You name it. Yeah, I think I remember, like, Nico didn't really like this matchup. But uh, he was also always really good at it, regardless. Yeah. And now his character's top tier, so, or, you know. Yeah, Shulk is up there. He's up there. <laughs> but uh, I wonder which which uh, Monado art is going to be the most useful in this matchup. I feel like sh uh, speed I is going to be say, incredibly good. Honestly, I want to say all of them are good. Yeah, all, all of them have to be good. I mean, why wouldn't you use all of them off afterwards? Uh, you can change between them so easily in this game by simply uh, pressing the B button and picking, uh, cycling the direction. So each direction is its own buster. Yeah, as you can see right now. Uh, its own buster. I meant Monado Art, but yeah, he was in buster and he took a lot of damage for doing so. Oh yeah, he was definitely just holding forward. Yeah. He's actually just holding forward <laughs> against this guy. He's, I'm <laughs> he's running just, into everything. I'm, just, I'm hip just sitting there like, okay, like, like <laughs> bring it. <laughs> Still, I honestly don't think this is. Oh dang! I was gonna say I don't think it's too bad for Nico until he just got destroyed by that purple up smash. Yeah, I think like Nico probably figures he is sitting oh. in winner side of grand finals, so he can afford to be a little aggressive. And as you can see, he already took that stock right back. Man, that was so quick. Okay, it's a good near out of shield, but not a huge follow-up, but all right, this is what we want is I'm hip. Nice tech chase cued him in the corner here. Ooh, wow, the DI on the ledge trump helps people so much in this game. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean it used to be like a free punish, basically. You get the ledge trump as long as you react yeah. quick enough uh, to get your punish in. It's, it's, it's either death or just a really bad spot. Oh wow, hey, with authority, oh. dude, just jump off down here. Call out the double jump. It was really good stuff in my hip, man. He's trying to go up in this set. I told you, man. He's really good when it comes to just getting the run back of people that beat him before. Yeah, man. I, I feel like I'm hip is definitely one of those players who just thrives out of, like, being in the loser's bracket. And knowing not enough to air slash, nearly going to do it in. But I'm a hip. Making it back to the ledge. Another uh, air slash. Oh, Still I was, living. I was about to say he's definitely not going to live that one, but... Oh my goodness, all of Nico's forward air is not connecting, even when he's in jump art, and Almar's recovery is oh super God. exploitable, too. Alright, finally. Forward air off the stage, great edge guard coming out from Nico, and only 36% deficit. As I was saying, I'm Hip is definitely one of those players that thrives from being in the loser's bracket. Knowing that he has to win two whole sets against Nico, that's kind of like a motivating factor, right? Like he says, if I win this tournament, I did it the hard way. Oh, yeah. Especially now that like we've had a lot of people um, play I'm Hip these days. They can get used to how he plays. Yeah. For him to still make it in the loser's final, or sorry, grand finals after going through the loser's bracket is still really, really impressive here. Yeah. I like how uh, patient I'm Pip is playing at the ledge, not really committing to any options, just uh, holding his ground and waiting for his opponent to pick. Oh, oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, hello. Didn't get the stock, but uh, yeah. Oh, it is. another yeah. one. Man, that was so good. Dude, the throw animation for Olimar is so cool now. With the yeah, he just, all, just like in the fray. Yeah, I like the changes to Alomar's animations. A lot of characters' animations yeah. in this game, honestly. Very, very cool. Animations across the board in this game are godlike. But uh, game one, I believe the winner's set was 3-0, Nico. So uh, man, man. that's already an improvement. Yeah. And he looked really solid at the end there, too, especially with that Just parry down more. smash. Just two more to uh, you know, reset the bracket. And he's got to win three. Here we go, game two, back to PS2. Great Another parry, parry. Yes, okay, yes. the parries are coming out from behind him. I think uh, it means Nico's gonna have to start being a little less predictable with his approaches. Definitely, the edge guards are definitely gonna have to become Nico's best friend in yeah. this matchup, I feel. Yeah, because he's trying to get all this damage uh, by Getting the Nair and into some sort of follow-up, you can see he's pressuring Nair into down tilt, uh, potentially getting Nairs into Nairs, or, okay, Nair Slash out of shield. He doesn't actually get the second hit. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate for Nico. Okay, 
Try and keep him in the air. Oh my goodness. Beautiful whistle into the back air. And Nico inches away from the ledge. Does not get to grab it with the backslash. Giving him a free stock. Now he's going to have to work extra hard for this stock to bring this back to even. Excellent high recovery from I Am Hip, avoiding uh, the aerial assault from Nico. Nico's just gonna activate Smash on our art, and he gets air slash. Dang, that's still not strong enough to kill Olimar from across the stage. I mean, he is at 107. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Was he in Smash art, and he still couldn't kill him from the high yeah, across the screen? Yeah. Dang. Olimar is Loki heavy. Yeah, I think I, I think he might, did he get a uh, weight buff or what? Because <laughs> he's <definitely laughs> supposed to yeah, die. Yeah, I was that. just like, what? Well, I'm here to take it. Anything to increase this lead further and further. 78% so far. Nico really Sneaky needs to make something here, happen. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I back here with something, but yeah, he's going to have to get a much earlier kill if he wants to stay in this game, I feel. Yeah. And I, I agree with you, your earlier statement where he said he's going to oh oh, Just run up purple, yeah. up smash. I know you're not blocking. I know you think I'm going to do something, like, you know, safe. But uh, I'm just going to throw this out. I know you're going to jump. I know you're going to spot dodge. That up smash may as well be safe. <laughs> it's, it's got low enough lag that you can combo aerials into it. So Yeah, yeah no one's parrying it just yet because, like, I don't know, he still is not using it enough to where people get used to the timing. Okay. This is what Nico wants, yeah. though. He has the smash hard on. He's going to see if he can get a kill here. Yes, Ooh, he does. Yes, he does. Great stuff. Air, great air slash and while using the smash. And that's more of what I'm, smash heart. I want to see is uh, him activating that smash heart and going deep for these edge guards. Even if he doesn't have the smash heart, like if he can't activate it in, in time, I want to see him go deep. Hey, might not even be necessary though. That Buster did so much damage. Scotty had a roll read though with that up smash. Might be showing his hand a little bit too much here. Cross up there, really good stuff there from I'm Hip. He's trying to make something happen. Going right back and forth. Ooh. They cross up from Nico into the air slash. Now he has opportunity with him at the ledge. Oh my goodness, Ooh. that forward air actually hit. Oh, because it's definitely a rough spot, but it does get the hit of the air slash. Yeah. Holding up to go above the ledge, and he goes another air slash from center stage. Can he get the down air? Oh my goodness, going super deep off stage with his last stock. You're a brave man, Nico. Like, I definitely thought he has the but fourth air stock slash. Still not enough to kill. Oh, I'm hip going really low. He still makes it back to the ledge. Oh, the F tilt from full screen. The baseball swing. Yeah, it looks it looks so satisfying when it hits. I can change the future. Definitely a good kill move there. Yeah, Didn't even need to be in like any sort of smash art buff to, to get that. Yeah, that move is just naturally strong on its own. But uh tying it up 1-1. Nico, solid adjustments there. Strong edge guards, great combos. And uh, yeah, just getting the grabs when you can, just putting all the right moves out on the screen. It looks like we may see this set play out in its entirety on Pokemon Stadium. Luckily for us, there is tons of great music on this stage. Yeah, and there's no DSR. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't even be able to go to the stage or Nico. They'd have to be forced to pick a different stage they didn't uh, play on yet. Okay, strong start here from my mid, but uh, if I'm Nico, I'm trying my best to get in and also make sure I get rid of the Pikmin, but wow, what a reversal Ooh. there. Nico went super hard off stage trying to make something happen with one attack and then oh, oh. I have stole serious? it back. Yeah, that was <laughs> double up smash. Dude, not even. That was three up smashes. The first one didn't do anything, but then he comboed two into wow. each other. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> and he didn't even get the uh, he didn't even do the up air finisher at the end either. Yeah, he felt I mean once you get two up smashes you'd probably be surprised too. Like you're like, wait, I just did that? Oh, I'm hip off stage now, and Nico trying to make a play. Oh my gosh. Wow, that look at that. Man, look at our potential two stock here? Three stock even. Yeah, Nico, man, he needs to slow down the game a lot more. I know he wants to go aggressive because he can get edge guards like this on Almar, but he shouldn't just keep forcing the issue all the time. It becomes very predictable. Wow, gets the parry just so he can pull out more Pikmin, and then he gets another parry for good measures. 
That's actually like not a bad idea. Only character I would ever think imagine even doing that. Yeah. With, uh... All right, finally Nico finding that F tilt, such a strong kill option, especially by the ledge. 52% deficit though. He's got speed art activated, and he can't Oof. even get a combo in. Nice double jump to the grab. Oh my goodness! Almost got the down smash snipe, but still gets the throw instead. I'm hit looking really good, but back there goes through the up smash attempt. Definitely call out a jump from Nico. Okay, it's a pivot grab. grab oh, DI mixed. Yeah. One up, one lonely Pikmin is all he's gonna need to get that in stock and move up in the set 2 1. I'm One hip. game away from getting the clean reset. Oh, and yeah. I'm hip winning. I believe I'm hip would have won his first MSM, not 100%. I think uh, last time he got this close, he got. It was against uh, Tyrant? Was it Tyrant that won that yeah. MSM? Yeah. So Different goes. swordsman that time, but yeah. A chance at redemption. Right, this, could, this is it. Could be uh, the deciding factor for how this next set might go if we get to that next set. But. Yeah, I honestly don't agree with them continuing to play on the same stage. I, I think after losing a few times, yeah. you need to mix it up a little bit. It's, it's sometimes though, you you know it's a it's a player pride thing, right? Like it's, right. You don't want to switch. Oh. You, you, don't, you don't want to admit that it was uh, potentially your opponent out playing you on a certain stage. Ooh. No tag, but doesn't matter. Still has enough Pikmin to come back. Need that spike hit box to actually guarantee the uh, stock there. And right now, man, Nico is, man, he's struggling to make something happen. Only 36%. Interestingly enough, I feel like I haven't really seen Nico make much use of the shield art. And he's sitting at 168%. Yeah, he was lose the stock to the next aerial. He was telling me that shield art is uh, no longer something you can use to actually kill with while you're in shield. Like yeah. you just take out all the damage, and that's about it. That makes sense. All right, so uh, the changes to the shield art Minato may have actually uh, affected him a, a somewhat of a nerf. And with how strong the other Minato arts are as well, I can see how he is able to use like speed art and yeah. uh, jump art to. Maneuver around hitboxes without yeah. getting hit, so maybe uh, shield is not quite as useful. Exactly. Okay. Do you go off stage here with the air slash? No, it's lets him get back to the ledge for free. I'm really surprised. I feel like that air slash would have killed if he was facing towards the, the stage there. Right, Nico keeping up the pressure here. Throwing out lots of aerials. He finds a neutral air into the fair. Oh, and the second fair getting I'm hit into the blast zone. Yeah, only 36% take it, but dang, the white Pikmin damage is real, dude. 70, 89%. 70% wow. yeah. unanswered, and they got the other 80% there. It was an even for game, the, if only for, for a the split second. Yeah, Nico's going to have to make something happen here. Oh. Stuff like this. Oh, man, get awareness from I'm hit. Saving his jump to the end. And uh, not giving him that free air dodge he was looking for. Otherwise, he would just get down air spike for sure. Oh, but we keep mashing that up smash. You got the purple Pikmin on deck. Trying to mash as much as he can while he's in shield. Because he knows he can't kill with the throw. Oh, let's jump fair. Purple Pikmin still in lineup. And he has the blue. Oh, this is actually an optimal lineup for Nico. He's got to be so careful. He'll die to the blue throw. The white Pikmin will rack up extra damage. And purple who's raw kill, but jumps. Super deep off stage. Gets rid of that entire lineup. Nico right. keeping his, his head in the game here. Finally activating 185%. Uh, the shield art at 188%. I guess it's gone now, but this that was one of the moments where shield art is going to be useful, especially because he knows he's not going to be able to kill anyways. Oh, it's yeah. Oh, zero. yeah. Man, that was scary. I thought he was going to get a double up there from yeah. Schultz, but... Uh, Good stuff from Ihip canceling out that attempt with the down air. The purple down air, that is. Oh, down tilt. Possibly setting up for something uh, from Nico here. With getting a grab. Tossing it back off stage. Smash art now. Trying to get this early kill. Forward air might kill. Air slash will certainly do it by the ledge. Oh my 
god, but what a great lineup that, uh, yeah. that uh, I'm hip had to get Nico off of him. Oh smash. yeah, just having Pearl Pigment is scary. Yeah. Two Pearl Pigment is scary enough, man. There it is, another ledge jump fair, catching Nico off guard. But now he has the blue throw. He's got to be careful that pivot grab is coming, that standing grab is coming, that dash grab is coming. But oh, jumps right over it. Back air in right. Open. Yeah, back air right in the head. That was actually super good timing for Nico to avoid getting thrown there because I hit was definitely starting to fish for it. And now it makes it to a game five situation. Potential one game away for it. We have crowned our champion. But uh, I'm here does not want Nico to win this one for free. Still running into Pokemon Stadium for the last game. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I guess it depends on what Nico gets banned. I imagine he's banned FD. I would never let Olimar go there for free. I mean, when the first four games are played out on uh, one stage, you're not going to suddenly go to the, a different stage for game five. Nonetheless, here we go. Potentially our last game of the night. Wow, goes right through the up smash. Just Nerys with no cares at all. Nico trying to get something started here. Great stuff. Keeping him pinned at the ledge. Just getting all the free hits he can. But there is another ledge jump fair, man. Nico has just been getting hit by that so many, so many times. Okay. Back at the ledge again. He still has the smash guard in the deck. I wonder if he could have actually killed with it at 70 something. I guess he just wanted to see if he can maybe get a smash at that point. Really risky down there, but. Not going to get spiked for his troubles. I want to see more of what Nico was doing to get all of this damage he did on the board. He just stood by the ledge and covered most of the options with this neutral air and the forward air. Uh, that's what I feel like he should be doing, should have been doing throughout the set and he's starting to employ that strategy in this game five. Uh, maybe he, that was intentional, you know, waiting to the very last moment to start really sticking to a game plan so that it's a lot harder for I'm hip to actually right. get through it. Right, I definitely can agree with oh, that, but wow, great, tech. great tech. If he gets the stock for this, it's a super crucial tech. Okay, dips out of there, sees he's in the shield already, doesn't have the speed to actually chase him from full screen, but turn around, air slash, out of shield again, taking that first stock, really clean stuff. Uh, switches to jump, but this is a, a situation I was talking about earlier where maybe actually using Shield Monado is effective. Since he's not gonna get the kill at zero percent. There it is. Jump art or uh, sorry, shield art. Yeah. But he's gonna be able to survive and rack up some damage at the very least. Thirty-five yeah. percent already on board. Shield art's purely for survivability in this game. You can't just use it to uh, get earlier stocks, but you like tank rage for free. Yeah, there was nothing Nico could have done at that point. Uh, he was well in the red percent, so that was a totally untagable situation. Still looking really good here. Until he gets the type of that forward air again, I'm hip has just been swinging these arrows at the perfect time. And they're working out wonderfully for him. Gotta watch the lineup, that's the white, blue, and the purple. That's really strong for I'm hip, but wow, another Man. wall bounce. And the extra knockback from the smash heart. Uh, definitely didn't do Nico any favors, sitting at 121% now. Uh, I'm hit with an aggressive downer to get back onto the stage, catching Nico off guard. Yeah, he's been just throwing out these hitboxes in disadvantage where you would think he would be in a poor spot, but he ends up getting his own. Oh, no. Wow. Oh. Okay, we're right back. I have definitely forgot that you <laughs> couldn't go through under this stage. Like, there's a big, like, there's a big, like, pole there just blocking one end of the stage from the next. All right, he sneaks the up air in. Nico down to his last life, potentially. Uh, I'm hip on the verge of resetting the bracket. We may be here a little bit longer, folks. Let's see if Nico has anything good. to say about that. He gets oh, a parry. Ooh. Parry into the smash. Monado Hello. up air. Really, really nice stuff there from Nico. Uh, really unorthodox punish, especially out of a parry. But hey, if it works, I ain't judging. Okay, Buster trying to rack up the Rasini he can with the Buster Art here. I mean, it's not making it easy, though. He's making it very difficult for Nico to approach. If he tr tries to approach from the air, gets swatted by a pick. He tries to approach from the ground, gets grabbed or just F smashed. It's really rough. But if he keeps using these dish joints, these sword hitboxes in the way he should. It's going to be very difficult for I'm hip to get in. 
Nice. And another one. Spending uh, all of his smash heart. Going to switch into jump. He's going to be able to chase a lot deeper oh, off stage. And almost all the Pikmin are gone. And that's all it takes. Nico swats him out of the black.